Hello and welcome, this is Mel Skinner, and we're back with some more Xenonauts. And we're continuing on with a mission against a downed UFO. We can see it over here, thanks to the buzzard armor, which we're using for the first time, allowing my man to fly up in the air and see over this wall, for example. I think I'm going to go ahead and fly on the other side of the wall, and then just come straight down. Leave that straight down. And perspective is kind of difficult. And if we move, we don't see anything else over here. So we can move over here and then take a knee and look that way. Okay, so I like that puzzle jump armor. I, I, I see that it, it can do a lot for us, especially in the role of scouting things out, being able to see over walls, see where the UFO is. I don't see it anymore, but I know where it is now. It's over here. And that's because of that. Okay, so let's grab the Hunter Scout car first. I'm not sure if I, sh I should continue over here or if I should continue down the road. Let's go ahead and continue down the road. That seems to make the most logical sense for the Hunter Scout car because it's going to have the easiest time moving. I'm not exactly sure how I saw this where I was, but I'm not going to argue with it too much. Okay, so we don't see anything down this road. I figure that these guys can do a good enough job uncovering what's over here, so that's what we're going to do. We have a wall here. More walls and an opening. Uh, let's go ahead and come across to here. We're almost to the edge of the map over here, so... There's going to be a door right there. Figure we'll just pop this door, pop in, check that corner, the other, come over here, pop this door, we see an alien. Okay, that's actually quite good that we approached it from that direction, because now, well, I at least know where the alien is. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's a whole lot I can do about our situation here. I won't be able to rush him either way. I think the best course of action is just set up in cover and try and wait for the alien. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close the door and we'll take an E, I guess. The alien will have to come to me one way or the other. I don't have a shot on him, so that's fine. Okay. Well, I could back you up with a rifleman, perhaps, and uh, if I put him into cover. Granted, I really don't have a means of getting great cover. We could put the sniper here. That might be good enough. We might be able to use the a sight line that the shield gives me. We also have decent coverage by the uh, edge of the hedge. Okay. And we can also get some cover from this rifleman if we put him here. If the alien comes out this way, we'll get a shot on it. So that covers both angles. Okay, you have already moved. I guess we'll have the Salter move this way. How far away are we from the edge of the map up here? Pretty far. It, there is a possibility that there is an alien up here. I think we move to here. Look like that. Take an E. It's possible there's an alien up here and they would get a shot on me. But we've taken an E. We have cover if there is any uh, anything over here, to a certain extent. I guess we should probably clear the barn here, although I don't think there's anything inside. There might be. I'm going to go up, go up on top. Okay. I'm not seeing anything here. We might get a vision on something if we look out this way. Okay, unfortunately, no. Um, do we have enough action points to get back down? We do. That's what we're going to do. Okay, this sniper really doesn't have a ton of options, I would say, as far as getting a better shot. Uh, we could put him here, though. Which would possibly give him an angle on a couple different directions. So we'll take that. Okay, that should be everything we want to move. Let's end the turn. 
Okay, so I was aware that there was a possibility there would be an alien over here. Kind of surprised we didn't get a reaction shot on that alien. As he did walk right up to me. And we do have a shot, and we had the action points. Do we have a shot here? We do if I'm not blocking the way, but I think we take the shot here. Because we have it. Um, let's pop this door open, though, real quick. Okay, the alien has moved closer. As a matter of fact, I, I think we just take shots at him from where we are. Uh, might as well take normal shots, I would say. Because we should be able to get two of those off. Shot one. A reaction shot. Shot two. Okay, you're down. And then we close the door. Hello, goodbye. Alright, let's do the same thing to this guy. So normal shots, I think, are the right course. Because we don't have to move. And you're already dead. Okay. Let's continue to move this way with the rifleman. Alright, so at this point I'm fairly certain there's no aliens up here because they would have killed that civilian if they had gotten the chance to do so. So uh, that is a little bit of an assumption on my part, but I think it is the correct one. Let's go ahead and move forward. Okay, look this way. Don't see anything. I'm just going to continue down the road. All right, so we have a little bit of ground still left to cover. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this way. Okay. Take a quick peek that way. Okay. At this point, I'm fairly confident there's nothing over here, so I'm even not going to take an E. Alright. Well, I guess we might as well come in here and see what we see. Take a look that way. That way. Okay, most of it seems clear. Take a look that way. Pretty much to the edge of the map at this point. The hay bale will block a line of sight that's directly across it. Take an E though. Be on the safe side. Okay, let's... I mean, again, I, as I said, not likely going to be anything over here, but I'm just going to go ahead and double check on that. Okay. So at this point, I should probably just start moving my men. Up to try and get better firing lines. I have the sniper moved to here. Fortunately, I don't think this is a good angle to get a shot on anyone. Probably we'll want to be here instead. That way we'll be able to see this way. Okay, uh, we have one person that hasn't moved, and that is the sniper over here, which is no longer in a position that we really want her to be in. So we'll move her... Across the road here, and then we'll have to take a knee just to be on the safe side. So far, I've killed three aliens. One's goop here, one died over here, and the other one died over there. I think that this craft, if it's like the Corvette, it's going to have around 10-11. But I'm imagining a landing craft would have more than that, so... That is the assumption I'll make. We also have a shield that hasn't moved. Ah, yes. Go ahead and have you just move in this direction, I guess. Guess that will do. There is a possibility that there's somebody right in here. That would suck if that's the case, but let's end turn. Find out shortly. Okay, so at this point I'm going to imagine that the aliens are more than likely going to be within the UFO itself. Looks like I can run over this. Okay. So yes, I believe that confirms it. Unless there's an alien standing, like, right here, we have more or less uncovered where all the aliens are.
But that doesn't mean that they're not going to be hanging out on a spot where they could jump me. So I am going to move this rifleman here, provide cover. So. I'll move the other rifleman. This is where things are a little bit tricky because I think I'd rather have a rifleman set up like this so that we have coverage because the rifleman is more likely going to give me reaction shots than a sniper. I've, I've never really seen a sniper give a reaction shot. So it's weird that there's a, uh, one of these right in front of the door. That, that. And then we just need our other assaulters to get into position. So let's do that. Okay. We're getting there. Uh, we're at the point where we may attempt... An assault on the UFO soon. Go ahead and end the turn. Okay. Let's have you come on up. And pop the door open for us. You don't see anything yet. This is where longer range weapons may actually be useful. But I'm not seeing anything in there. Looks like we can get around the hay bale, so... Okay, we see this guy there. I can just poke a hole in here. In the hedge, I might be able to get a shot at him. See if we can do that. Just want a snapshot. Snapshot should be enough. I mean, we have a 60% chance of missing, but... I don't know if we did or not. All right, <laughs> whatever. I don't know if I can blow a hole through a hedge like that with a la uh, uh, sorry, a laser sniper rifle. I might have enough to throw a grenade in here. That's a, not a bad toss point right there. 80% for a flashbang to land. Let's try it. Boom, you're suppressed. Okay. And get her into cover. And figure out where the rest of the aliens may be. Might be an unwise move, but gets us progressed. We move you into cover as well. E that way. Set you up there and take an E. You set up here and then maybe shoot you a couple times. So 26, 37. Well, we're only going to get one shot, so let's take the best one. Down you go. Okay, now we can look around a little bit. All right, well, I don't know which way the attack's going to come from. So I'm not sure which way to face the shield. I think I'm just going to face it straight ahead. Fortunately, I don't think I can get this guy in that great of a spot. Uh, I might be able to get him there, but I'm, I think I'm really asking for a grenade toss here if I do that. So I think the best course of action is just to maneuver myself in a position and then take a knee and then face and then, uh, well, maybe don't take a knee. Okay, yeah, stand up. Okay. I really would like to have some long-range support in here, so let's get our, our buzzard up here. Is he going to jump to do that? What the heck? Why is there no intervening uh, path? 
It sure looks like he just jumped to the... Maybe that's the most optimum path, and that's why I did it that way. I mean, I don't have a problem with that, I guess. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's end the turn. Okay, unfortunately, they're hitting me with psychic attacks. I'd rather have it be somebody outside the UFO than one inside the UFO. Okay. If I have the opportunity, I would like to capture the Psyker. Or the psionic alien. Okay. Have the shield check this room. They are possibly just upstairs, but you have to be double sure of this, so... That... Okay, so they're all dead in here. So, I think the safest thing to do would be to move to here. Base. Take an E. They could shoot me across from the other way, but I've got this to block the way, I'm hoping. Go ahead and open this. And I'll do a similar thing over here. I'll face that way. But yeah, they're definitely up in the uh, the upper floor. I'm not ready to assault that, I don't think, because I don't have most of my men in position. But I could put myself... Matter of fact, this would be probably good cover here. Put myself closer and in a position to get reaction shots if they do come through. So we'll do the same thing over here in this cover. And we'll face and take an E. So if they pop through there, we should get shots at them. Okay, I think we're more or less set up. I could have... I probably shouldn't have him come in. I could have one of my riflemen come in just to add in a little bit more uh, fire support. Probably not a bad call. This is not a bad spot, I think, for cover. Either way they, they attack me from, I think I should have good cover. Okay, I think that's going to be good. Let's go ahead and end the turn and see what happens. I could have the sniper move up to here just to provide cover as well. And we could move you up here. Take an ease. Okay. You know, I didn't I didn't 100% check this area. I better do that. That one alien that's hiding over here is going to get me. Okay, then the turn. Okay, berserking. That's bad if he turns on one of my own men, but he didn't. He turned on a hay bale, so uh, that's fine. And even if the hay bale wasn't there, he would have hit a door. There's a door in front of him, so uh, it wasn't necessarily dangerous. Could have been, though. All right, let's go upstairs. Let's look around slowly. Okay, so... We know that they're going to be out in this main area. I should set up... into cover. Okay. Did that advance? Let's do the same thing over here. Turn around. Oh. Hello. Okay. So, that's the Psyker, I believe. I don't have any grenades here. But we should probably move on the other side of the cover. Alright. Can we have a realistic chance of capturing him? I could throw a flashbang at him to stun him, and then switch over to my shock baton to try and take him out. Now, I have captured one of these guys before, and I really don't know if I'm at a point where I could capture him. It might just be easier for me to take him out and kill him. So, I will switch to the flashbang anyway. As a matter of fact, this is a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video, so we'll see if we can do that in a future turn, but if I'm correct... We do have a shock baton, so that is something I could attempt. I don't know if I'd be able to do it all in one turn, though, is the problem. But in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.